Hello everybody and welcome again to the second episode of Friday Vlogging with Bill. I'm Kenar Choku, I'm a research stand specialist at the American Corner in Skopje and today as we announced the last week we are going to talk about a very interesting topic. Our topic of this week is American Teenage Life. Before we continue talking with Bella, I will shortly tell you the three steps that you have to do in order to use the research center that we have at the American Corner in Skopje. So the first step you have to do is come at the American Corner in Skopje and uh, ask the staff for a membership application. How can you come at the American Corner in Skopje when you don't know where American Corner in Skopje is? We are located at the National and University Library and you can find us very easily because there are flags and signs outside of the building. So just come at the National and University Library and you will find the American Corner Skopje. The second thing you will do is ask for a membership application. Okay, so I have the membership application here. This is the membership application and the membership application wouldn't take you more than two minutes to fill it up. All you have to do is write your name, surname, email address, the city where you live and you got it. You're ready to go on the third step which is become an official member of the American Corner in Skopje. This is the ID card that you will receive. You will have your unique number with which you will be able to use all the resources that we have. I will repeat all of our resources again. We have books, DVDs, magazines, audiobooks and computers. All of these five resources you can use for free at the American Corner in Skopje. So don't wait, come at the American Corner in Skopje and check out your favorite resources. Okay, so back to the topic. Bela is here with me. You're a teenager yourself. How does it feel to be a teenager in the US? Uh, it's very nice. Sometimes stressful because of school, but overall it's nice and relaxing. And you're just missing out. Like, yeah, yeah where, where do teenagers mostly hang out? So, here in Macedonia, hanging out at like coffee is very popular and that's not really the case in the United States. Going to the movie theater or going to a friend's house is probably the most popular thing to do. Like, we go to movies weekly, so theaters are very popular, going to other people's houses. Not really coffee not so much. Uh, I know that teenagers are famous and uh, are interested in making slangs. Yeah. What kind of slangs do teenagers mostly use in, you in America? And I know that you have prepared some slangs that are mostly most commonly used. Can you explain them? Okay, so here we have a variety of slang words used by teenagers. Uh, the first one is fire. Fire? Yeah. Like, like fire? Okay, not like fire. Um, like fire, like something's hot. Like that's really good. Like, wow, okay. that, yeah, that car is fire. So that's a very nice car. That's really good. That's a nice car. Or you can describe basically anything. You can describe people. Anything that's fire that's hot, so it's related to it. It's right, hot. right. So is it politely using the word fire uh, to a person who is older than you? I don't know if they'd understand it. Okay. But I, I don't, it's not rude, it's not offensive. It's right, just, right, okay. The second word, uh, beef, like the beef, the meat. Okay, who's hungry? We're talking about meat. <laughs> so it's not the cow. Beef is to have a problem with someone. So if you and I have beef, we have a problem. We have a fight. Oh, right. So it's a conflict. So, so become a vegetarian. Don't yeah. eat beef because beef is a problem. Yeah. Don't beef with people. How, how do you use it in a sentence? We have beef. We are beef. That's like if you say, it's like, I have beef with you, that means we have a problem. And that's not, <laughs> you don't want to have that. So don't have beef unless it's in a burger, I guess. Okay, so I've heard about being chill, but no chill. Is that the opposite of being chill? Yeah, so chill is to be like calm and relaxed. To have no chill is to be like a very stressful and anxious person. And yeah, it's not, yeah. No chill is not, you always want to have some chill. You don't want to be known for being no right, chill. Right, so be chill. Yeah. Be don't chill. be no chill. <laughs> okay, wreck and wreck. I see that here you've uh, written it uh, differently. So the word wreck. So this is how you spell it correctly, but as teenagers we shorten it down and uh, basically spell it like this, but this is the original spelling, that's how you say it, wrecked, it's the same. Right. So it's to get 
It means to be completely destroyed. So if I get wrecked on my test, that means I completely failed. It was so bad. So wrecked is when everything's going bad, you say, I got wrecked. Okay, so another word to be careful, don't get beefed and don't get wrecked. Okay, two words we shouldn't do. <laughs> lit. Lit is something's cool. That's lit. Like that party is lit. Okay. So lit is being, it's like cool, um, it's, it's nice, it's new, it's lit. It's like the best, it's like a good, it's a good adjective. Mm, okay, good adjective. Lit, remember this. Lit. Slay? Slay. Uh, it's kind of like lit a little bit, but the slay is like a, you use it as a verb. Like she slayed, she slayed her test, which is like, she like aced her test. She did really well. Mm -hmm. So like, um, or like Beyonce slayed with the new album. Like she right. Did really, so that's how it works. Okay. So we go to the next word. High key, high key, low key. Okay, I can't figure what this means, but you can explain them. <laughs> so high key and low key is kind of like a measure of things, or you can use it as like yes or no. So high key kind of means, but basically means really like a lot. Like I high key want to go hang out with you, which is like mm. I really want to hang out with you. Low key, low key is kind of like I kind of don't want to do that. Like I low key don't want to leave Macedonia. Or, yeah, so I don't want to leave. I want to stay here. Low key want to stay. So okay. kind of yeah. So being high key is better than being low key, like uh, when you low key you don't want to do something, it's like, it's like, like yeah. uh -huh, it's okay, middle. okay. So, and you can use this as like a, a yes answer, like do you want to go to the party, high key, so that means like you really want oh, to Oh, so you just say high key, which, which means approval to yeah. your invitation. Exactly. High key, okay, nice. Salty, back to food, okay, we can put a bit uh, salt to the beef and fire it and we have a dish, but that's not the case. What salty means? Of course we incorporate food. <laughs> so salty is kind of related to beef too. It's um, Salty is to be like bitter, or angry, it's not, it's like a person with no chill, they're salty. It's like, they're like stressful, they're anxious, they're pessimistic, they're just not that nice, they're not being very nice. So if someone's being salty to you, they're like, they're kind of like distancing you, they're kind of being a little rude, they're salty. So you don't want to be salty. Don't be salty. <laughs> What's popular among the teenagers and the pop culture in America? I think we have prepared a picture for this, right? Okay. We're going to look at it. Okay, this is the one. This is okay. So, so okay, so I see here a lot of logos and people. Let's start from the first one, Netflix. Okay, I'm aware what Net Netflix is, but uh, so far Netflix is not very popular in Macedonia. What's the case in, in, in the US? US? It's like the number one way to watch your TV. Because teenagers have very hectic schedules, like it's always changing. You can't like consistently sit down in front of the TV and watch your show. So Netflix allows you to stream your show whenever you want, wherever you want, on your phone, your computer. So Netflix is extremely popular in the United States. Um, yeah. Okay, so it. what do you use Netflix for? Like, which TV show do you enjoy watching? Um, I like watching House of Cards, I've been watching that, and then I've watched some anime. So you can watch movies, TV shows, everything, yeah. So. Everything. Okay, so you you like buy this platform? Or uh, you? Yeah. So you have to pay for a monthly subscription for about like 10, I think it's $10 a month. So, uh, 500 then. And then you can use everything inside. As much as you want for every for a month. So it's 500 then per month. Okay, another picture, a cute baby on a beach. Uh, I don't really get what this is, but you will explain us. Okay, so this is a blank meme. A meme is like a, you have a picture and you add words, like a caption on the top and the bottom. And what's really cool about memes is that you can express your idea about something, like maybe a political, like a critique of something, like a critique of culture, a polit politics, a musician, or you can just like maybe like have a, a meme about your school or something. Mm. So you express your ideas through these pictures and captions, and they're very popular among teenagers because it's it's short, it's simple, uh, it's easy to to, to create, to on, make, yeah, yeah. easy to create and post and publish on the internet. So. Okay, so uh, are the memes are usually sarcastic? Is yeah. that correct? Yes. Right. 
Okay, so, so sarcastically they're uh, sending a message to the to the people, and usually these memes are known to go viral. Like everybody, a good meme might go viral, and everybody shares it. Okay, so you can create a good good meme yourself. Um, social media. Okay, where's Facebook? So what social media is without Facebook? Facebook is not really popular among teenagers in the United States. It's, it's not as popular as okay. Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Mainly, I think, because it's a, I, it's more adults use it, older people use it, and teenagers like to distance themselves from older people. Mm -hmm. And we don't really want to read these articles on uh, Facebook. We want short, like quick uh, information on Twitter, like only a few pictures from Instagram, Snapchat. We don't want like lots and lots of stuff. It's just. Facebook is, I guess, kind of it's outdated to us. When did Facebook become outdated in the US? Maybe a couple years ago, two or three years ago. It started losing popularity among teenagers. Right, but you have Facebook yourself. No. You don't? No. You don't? It's not popular for teenagers. Interesting. In Macedonia, everybody has a Facebook. Yeah, so... An important tool in life. Okay, so uh, how do you use Snapchat and Instagram and Twitter? Uh, or maybe can you tell us which are the most uh, the, the people that are tweeted the most among the teenagers? Uh, or what do people Snapchat in their cameras? So uh, Snapchat is known. You have your you use your filters. You send okay. them to friends, and I don't know. We just Snapchat our faces <laughs> to other people. Um, Instagram, obviously, if you've got your food, your traveling. Yeah, that's the most common pictures on there. Twitter, uh, sarcastic comments, funny comments, uh, comments about life. And they're very short too, they're only 140 characters. Yeah. So it's nice to, for teenagers just to scroll really quickly. And then Snapchat, the pictures last max of like 11 seconds or a point. And it's very short, so it's very quick, and teenagers like that fast, having that information quick at their hand and they're disposable. Disposal, so that's why we like those social media. Social media. Okay, before moving to the people that are on the screen, let's talk about this picture which is very, very popular right now in the entire world. So you're having soon the presidential elections. Yeah. We, we have the donkey and the elephants which represents the Democratic and Republican Party. Uh, how engaged are teenagers in politics and how much do they follow it? So I think more than ever now, teenagers are getting really interested in politics and the presidential election. I think mainly because of social media. Okay. So we have, like, Clinton and Trump are actually using, they're taking advantage of social media, like on Twitter, and, uh, Instagram, and they're basically engaging a lot more people than they have before, like not using social media, and having them tweet on Twitter, and having all these campaigns digital on social media is involving a lot of teenagers. So they're, even though we can't vote, we're very, very interested in uh, current politics, uh, political situation right now. So social media is helping basically educate teenagers and getting involved in politics. What's your opinion on this? Do you like teenagers being uh, interested or yeah. involved or engaged into politics? I, th yeah. I think it's really, really cool that we're having this merging of like the technologies, like basically the merging of politics and we're having increased education, right? These teenagers are getting involved when they normally wouldn't. Right. So I think it's really cool that we're having, they're putting it on social media. Okay, good luck on that. Uh, okay, let's go to the famous people here. I see singers and sportists. Let's start with the youngest one. How old is he? Is he in his 20s? Yeah, 20s. yeah I think he's 20. He's in his 20s. Okay. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> okay, um, so what do you mean, Stance, um, in his sport? So Justin Bieber is not American, he's Canadian, but he's okay. still very popular in the United States. Uh, his music is, it's evolved, it's like a different phase, I guess, now of his musical career, and teenagers really like that, so he's very popular right now. And then Taylor Swift, mm -hmm. and uh, Taylor Swift is actually very popular right now. Um, good and bad news, she's having a kind of a feud with... With the other Kanye. person here. Kenya West? Yes. Right? They're okay. having a feud about some song lyrics. But so these two people are very important right now. <laughs> They're having a beef. They are have yes, they have beef. <laughs> That's exactly right. right. So there's some salt going on. Yeah, so, <laughs> a salty beef. <laughs> so we'll just sit back and watch the past. And then here's Kanye. 
Okay. Uh, he's a famous rapper uh, in America, so you can listen to his music if you like rap music. And yeah, you can also Google what's happening between Taylor Swift and Kanye. Okay. So. Okay. And then we have Stephen Curry or Steph Curry. Uh, he is one of the most famous basketball players right now, trending. He's on the Golden State Warriors, and yeah, he's a very popular basketball player that lives in California. Nice. Okay, let's continue with the next topic that we've planned to talk about. Actually, it's the same topic, but we are going to talk now about places where teenagers enjoy the most to eat, to shop, to pass their time. We have prepared a poster for this as well. Uh, okay, so we move forward. Okay, this is the one. Okay. Chip Chipotle. Okay, Mexican grill. So, mm -hmm. are you guys, so Subway is like where you make your sandwiches, you pick and choose what you want. Chipotle is pretty much Subway, but with Mexican food. So you have like a burrito or a taco or a quesadilla. You pick and choose what you want, and that's why people like it. It's just fast Mexican food that's very healthy. Yeah, and you get to pick yourself. Yep, exactly. You're going to make customized everything. It's fresh. Fine. Yep, so Chipotle is very popular. Okay, is this pepper here like uh, a synonym of the food which is spicy usually or chili or? Um, just, yeah, I guess you can have like, peppers in it. Peppers. So, so, yeah, it's just a little logo. It's fire. Fire, it's yeah. <laughs> okay, this logo I believe everybody knows. Uh, the best coffee that we, 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 we like, or it might not be the best coffee, but it, 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 it's yeah. one of my favorites, Starbucks. Uh, so, how often teenagers would be seen with a Starbucks coffee? Well, you can find a kid with Starbucks at our school <laughs> every day. Like, there's always a kid that gets like, daily Starbucks every single day. Yeah. So, Starbucks is extremely popular, but uh, yeah, co coffee is popular, but I have to it's not sitting down and just hanging out for a long time. You get your coffee, you go to where you're going, okay. you drink it. So you don't really sit down and hang out at the coffee house as long as like right. Macedonian. Like we do. Yeah, we we not, like to enjoy our coffee. Not like three hours. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, coffee is very popular of course still. So, okay, so coffee. Uh, Chick-fil-A. Chick yeah, it's the number one fast food restaurant right now according to some survey I read. So okay, it's uh, all, 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 all in across the United States. In United States. Yeah, Chick fil A. So it's, uh, it's chicken sandwiches, basically. They lots of chicken products, like chicken nuggets, chicken sandwiches. It's Who doesn't like chicken? Yeah, <laughs> so instead of beef, we have chicken. Chicken fillet. Yeah. Like. yeah. Okay. The next one? Uh, this Buns. is a very, like, probably the most popular donut chain in California Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. They're like classic, the classic American donuts. So if you go to America, eat a Krispy Kreme donut. Okay. In and Out Burgers. So In and Out Burger is a, a Californian burger chain that's very, very iconic, classic California, like Californian, classic American burgers. Um, yeah, they, they're very cheap too. Uh, they have high quality ingredients. And so, yeah. so, so are all of these uh, places affordable for the teenagers? Uh, yeah, most of these are all like reasonably priced. Some of them are very cheap. You don't like two dollar, three dollar burgers. So, um, and the yeah, top the last one. one. Yeah, this is. They have a dollar menu, so it's very a dollar. Cheap. <laughs> yeah, so it's very cheap for. And affordable for the students. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Taco Bell is kind of Americanized Mexican food that has like lots of new and cool uh, products, like their Doritos tacos. So they're incorporating like snacks into like new things into classic uh, Mexican food. It's not traditional Mexican food, it's definitely Americanized, but it's still, it's still pretty good. It's, yeah. Okay, so before we close our conversation, uh, I would like to recommend the book that I've picked for today, because we talked about slangs. I've picked the uh, American Dictionary of Slangs. Here you can find over, uh, over 10,000 books, uh, 10,000 slangs in, uh, that are used in American language. So, you can check out this book again, see at the American Corner. Okay, Gala, thanks again for being with us uh, at the American Corner in Skopje. As for the end, how would you uh, summarize uh, the, the life, the teenage life in America? Okay, so, 
Living in America is very nice, and I'm lucky to have been born in California, but I think we need to remember as teenagers, no matter where we are, we really need to cherish our time as teenagers, and we're only teenagers once, so value it and spend it wisely. Spend it wisely, yeah. Thanks, Vela. Thank you all for watching. Uh, this is the end of the second episode. You can follow us on, uh, follow us on Facebook, you can follow us on uh, YouTube. So, uh, if you have any questions for our third episode, which will be on the topic of California. So, we are going to talk about a very, very exciting state of US. California and its cities, its beaches and places you should visit. So we are going to talk about California. If you have any questions that you want to direct to Bella, please email us. The email will be on the bottom of the screen. Up until then, bye bye.